Hello YouTube and fellow Star Wars collectors! On this episode of Toys Are The Way, we will be taking a look at how I upgraded my Mandalorian and Grogu Maldo Kreese Deluxe offering. If you're new to the channel or a fan of Star Wars collecting, be sure to drop a like down below, remember to subscribe, and make sure to ring that bell to stay notified. Upcoming videos will feature similar reviews, diorama builds, and much more from the Vintage Collection, so stay tuned. But with that said, let's get on with the video. Welcome back everyone, in today's video I wanted to share with you how I've upgraded my Mandalorian Deluxe Pack, specifically the spiders and the Mandalorian figure itself. This was a really cool offering to get from the Vintage Collection and it's technically the first set of beasts that we've actually gotten in quite a long time in the Vintage Collection or even the 3.75 scale. So really cool to get these spiders, they're really awesome. I would love for Hasbro to release the larger version of this creature. I think that would be an amazing offering. And it would really help us complete this scene because we have spiders, we have the Razor Crest, we just need those larger spiders and Frog Lady. And that would be a really cool display to have in your collection. But I'm really happy to finally get some type of beast in the Vintage Collection. You know, the Mandalorian comes across a variety of different creatures in his adventures. We've got the spiders, we've got the mudhorn, we still need a blurg, and you know, it's just nice to get creatures into your collection to really help build out these worlds. These spiders were awesome to see in live action. I had seen them in Rebels before, and yeah, I'm just a big fan of these creatures. So I wanted to add a little something more to them because this offering really didn't didn't do a lot of detail work when it came to the spider specifically. They are kind of just a plain white plastic and there's not much detail to them so that is something that I wanted to add to really bring them to life. This Maldo Crease set was the first deluxe offering that we got recently in the Vintage Collection and is probably the first and last time that we will see the carded bubble on a deluxe package. Since then they've moved on to the all cardboard box which are nice and all and I'm not really sure if, you know, I like this more or I prefer the box. They're both kind of cool, but I think this is kind of a special card now. Um, you know, we're never going to see something like this again. And it was also a Walmart exclusive, which makes it a bit difficult at times to find a nice carded sample. So with that said, let's take a closer look at this card. And here we have the Mandalorian along with Grogu and Spiders wonderfully displayed in their bubble on such a timeless vintage collection card. Nothing is better than these bubbles and just wonderful card art. And I really like this image of the Mandalorian holding Grogu in the ice caves. I think it looks fantastic. I love how the canner is just displayed down below on like this ice ridge. I think that just is a really nice image. Also, Grogu looks pretty cool right there, being held by the Mandalorian. And the figure itself looks fantastic. I love the orange background. Really brings everything together and makes it pop on this nice, cool, toned card. So, really nice stuff there. They found a nice way to package in all the spiders and everything. So, everything's well displayed and a really nice looking card. On the back, we have a nice image of the Mandalorian in an action pose with some spiders and stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. You know, you don't normally see the actual figure that you're getting in the package displayed on the back. So that is fantastic. You also have a wonderful lineup of vintage collection figures here. So this is actually a really nice card and really nice back. And it is also numbered. As you can see, we have VC 211 in the line. So not only did Hasbro do a unique deluxe card, they also decided to make it part of the Vintage Collection numbering system. So definitely one that you want to have in your collection. And I am happy that I was able to get a pretty nice sample of this card. So fantastic stuff and a really cool offering. And here you have the Mandalorian out of the package, looking really cool with this nice snow effect dusted all over his armor and his boots, just really making him look like he's in that winter setting. So this was really cool to get. He also has the updated thigh armor that you see accurately depicted in the show. So really cool to get. Also, the biggest improvement is the rocker ankles. This is the first version of the Mandalorian that we've seen in the Vintage Collection with rocker ankles. And I gotta say, it makes posing this figure quite a joy. 
So very happy to get this. My only qualm is still with the plastic cape, which is a bit of a bummer, but nothing too crazy. Um, he still has the hole for the jetpack there, so that's cool. And yeah, I'm really happy to get this offering, especially because, you know, we get the rocker ankles. So very, very cool stuff. Um, pretty much everything else is standard to the Mandalorian. The articulation and everything is about the same except for the rocker ankles. So really cool to get that. You may be wondering why I have another version of this figure standing over there. And I will show you. Originally when this item went up for pre-order, I knew that I would need multiples because I didn't just want one medium sized spider and two little ones. I knew I wanted a little army of spiders so I went ahead and pre-ordered five. One to keep carded and four to open. But that did present one problem. I would have quite a bit of snowy mandos left over. So I went ahead and adjusted this one to be not snowy. I went ahead and used a silver paint marker and kind of lightly dabbed it on certain areas that had the snow and then dry brushed it in, which was actually pretty effective and it did a great job. Luckily, the silver paint marker I had was a very close match to what Hasbro used and I was able to get rid of all the snow on his armor. And then with some acrylic paints, I just did a fantastic job of paint matching and just removing the snow. So there you have it. I have myself a accurate season two slash coming up three Mandalorian. So really cool stuff. Um, I put the soft goods cape that came with the razor crest on him. And this is just how I've been displaying him recently. Uh, I plan on making a little video about how Hasbro should absolutely release this figure and uh, stay tuned and check that out. But yeah, this is something you can do if you know you have multiples of this set and you don't know what to do with some snowy Din Djarins. And here's a quick look at Grogu. If you're unfamiliar with this pack, you get the little child. He's got little feet. He's very similar to most of the offerings we've gotten of him in the vintage collection, except he has this nice dusted snow effect on the bottom of his little robe and a different expression as we see with all of the Grogu's that we get. So pretty cool. He's got a little arm articulation. He is a very tiny figure. His head moves around and that's pretty much all you get. But yeah, really cool. I'm glad we got, you know, another version of Grogu. A little snow on his uh, outfit's pretty cool. And you know, since I have multiples of this pack, I have quite a number of snowy Grogu's. So I haven't gotten around to it, but I might paint one of them and just like color match to the robe so that I have this Grogu with expression, not snowy. And then the other ones, I don't know. I might just hide them in like my Hoth display or something, you know, <laughs> find Grogu, see where he's hiding, stuff like that. But yeah, this is the Grogu you get. Pretty cool. And of course, all of our Grogu's love to eat. And here's his snack that he comes with. It's one of the eggs that he cracks open in the show and eats the little spider out of it. So pretty cool. I also have quite a number of these, but those are great for a little display as well. And I don't know, it's just always nice to have random food things that you can just put in your dioramas and displays. But moving on, let's take a look at the focus of this video, the spiders. Here we have the spider included in the Maldo crease set, and as you can see, I've customized and painted him to have a much more realistic appearance as seen in the show. It would have been nice if Hasbro included these paint applications, but I know this was a deluxe pack that was exclusive to Walmart, and usually those things are extra offerings in the line, so simple repaints and, you know, bare minimum stuff, so... I mean, it would have been nice, but uh, I understand why, you know, the spider wasn't painted. I do think at minimum, the eyes would have been a nice touch. Um, they just look really weird with no eyes. So that was the main thing that was really bothering me and what drove me to paint these up and make them look better. So it's a pretty simple process. Maybe this is something you're looking to add to your collection and like alter these. And um, it's really not too difficult. All I did was take some black paint and green, the green similar to Grogu's shade of green, and mix those up to make a nice black, a little bit muddy wash, and then simply dry brush that onto this figure. And then mixed a paint that was, you know, an appropriate color for his mouth, and as well as like a little bit of an ivory color to do the teeth. And yeah, that's all you really gotta do. It's not too crazy. 
And let's take a closer look at that process and also set up an awesome scene with these wonderful creatures and figures. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taken a closer look at how I customize these figures and set them up in an awesome dynamic scene similar to what we saw in episode 2 of season 2 of The Mandalorian. And don't forget to drop a like on this video, remember to subscribe, and definitely leave a comment if you've enjoyed the video. I love engaging with everyone and hearing what you have to say. Thanks everyone and I'll see you on the next video.